Welcome everyone to L2R2 PlayStation Podcast. I'm joined by my UK bruv from another mum, indie game dev, Cal Monroe. Cal, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Excited to see some games. Um, you always know it's on. It's going to be very green, which is a bit different. But now it'll be good to see these uh, these games on next gen. Yep, yep. So yeah, we're here anticipating this Xbox 2020 event, which is it started now. I've got the footage, everything going. Uh, I'm not sure what. This is a dude talking by his fridge. <laughs> it looks like uh, they're making their own like commercial or something. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I can't even. Can you hear him? I can't even hear him. Uh, I can't hear him. I could... But <laughs> <laughs> he's speaking passionately, which is <laughs> wait. It's a that's an Xbox <laughs> fridge, isn't it? Yeah, yep, yep. That's the joke of the yeah, awesome. Because like a lot of people turn into a meme yeah. how big the yeah, yeah, yeah. The Series X looks. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've got no sound at all. Mm. Is it muted video. or anything on YouTube? Nah, it's turned up. Um, it's I, I think I can hear it. It's just super quiet. Hmm. So I don't know what's going on there, but it's alright. As long as I can see the game. Yeah, that's really yeah, that's really what it's about. <laughs> but yeah, like we talked about, hopefully seeing some. Uh, I mean, they they've confirmed we're going to see something about Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, I'm not I'm yeah. not sure what else beyond third party, but that's what's cool that it's a third party event. All this stuff is going to be on PS5 most likely, and it's going to be close yeah. to the same kind of visuals because that's really where they are close to each other when it comes to third party. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea why I can't hear it. Not sure. Can you can you hear it? Yeah. Are you on the game? Yeah, I just spot? have like yeah. the window open yeah. with a little. Uh... I know I turned down Very the volume. On my I'll give end, it. But... I'll give it a refresh. Gotcha. There you go. Ah, oh, there we go. I can hear it better now. Gotcha. Yeah, they're just saying right now how they're going to show off their own first party stuff in July. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Halo, actually. That'll be really interesting. That one's, yeah, that one's actually super interesting. I want to see how they take it, how they reinvigorate that franchise, because they've had kind of a, you know, it was kind of had a going downhill with, like, uh, Halo 5, at least in, like, the fans' eyes, critically. So I'm hoping they can, like, bring that, because that used to be a huge juggernaut, and it's not in that same spot mm. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straight into it i like that yep. yeah they're i don't know if you can hear they're they're playing audio too of the boot up screen and that's their boot up screen for a series x it's more sound it reminds me of uh, the playstation 3 yeah startup. that kind of orchestral kind of uh startup. yeah yeah i like it oh yeah i can definitely hear it now gotcha So optimize so i'm guessing they're all going to be obviously last gen as well i think uh, yep i think you're right this gen yeah some of the guys that work on uh some of the people that work on gears 5 mentioned that they, they can easily optimize it so like whatever they're doing tech wise mm -hmm. is something that's easily optimizable um this is a first person shooter that i can't pinpoint what it's from mm. it almost it looks, looks kind of like yeah it does look kills only and it looks kind of like uh Sekiro thing as well. Yeah, like they just dropped an American in there and he's just yeah. in the future. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you're going up against guys that don't have guns. Yeah. Oh, you got a sword as well. Oh, you know what? That's I did cool. just see footage of this game called Ghost Runner or something like that on PC. It sort of yeah. looks like this. It's very uh, platformy. I don't know if this is the same thing, yeah. but uh, I wonder. And did they confirm this is gameplay or this is a trailer? Yeah, I mean, you'd you'd have to imagine it's sort of like part gameplay, part cinematic, like an E3 kind gotcha. of showcase. Because there's times where um, it looks a bit more... Uh, yeah. cinematic or this yeah i suppose it'd probably be a little bit like the you know the battlefield 5 trailers where you know they, it made it look like gameplay but it was also a bit more cinematic bright memory infinite that's a terrible name but okay. it looks dope yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i haven't heard that studio before as well yeah it's true just trying to a single person yeah <laughs> 
That's nuts. That's pretty impressive. A single person. Give that guy uh, an assistant or something. Help somebody make yeah, coffee right. for him or like sweep yeah. the floors. Like you need some help. That is, that is mad to be fair. Yeah, yeah. That's great that they could do it themselves. It's just like if you have the money behind yeah. it, throw them some help. Like, <laughs> come on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just reading up on it. That's... Zheng Shang Cheng using Unreal Engine 4. Okay. Uh, taking place in his spare time. Jesus. <laughs> he received financial support through Epic Games dev grants. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Got a world premiere. Yeah, they love doing the like world premiere kind of stuff. Kind of yeah, taglines. they do. Yeah. Got some driving <laughs> stuff. Maybe a Need for Speed or like a Burnout. Oh, yeah, because it's back with Criterion now, isn't it? So this could be that. You're right. Codemasters. Okay, Codemasters. I think they did that game Rush or Drift that was out recently. Yeah, and they, they, I know Codemasters do Grid as well. Oh, okay. Which, Grid, the first Grid game is like one of my favorite racing games. All right, this looks beautiful already, like the mud yeah, and stuff. It's looking kind of motor, motor stormy yep. as well. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, dirt. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I've never played a dirt game, I don't think. They do look really good, though. Yeah, there's sales on them all the time on PSN. I've never jumped in, but yeah, yeah they look like solid games. Or could this be Elden Ring, maybe? I've been hearing people talk about, yeah, hopefully seeing this. Seeing Elden Ring in, in some form. Xbox Game Pass. Unless it's something looks like a demon. That I just completely have missed. Yeah. Whoa, this looks like the H.R. Geiger guy, like the Alien franchise. Yeah, this does look like Alien. Yeah. Or that artwork, anyways. I think it is. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Or at least they got him to do the art. Surely. Yep, it is. That's for sure. Yeah. Be is it? Um, there was. I mean, unless it is Elden Ring, the the George R R Martin Dark Souls thing. That definitely looks like a Xenomorph. Yeah, kind of, kind of uh, thing. Well, there was that team that made uh, Alien Isolation. That was a different. You know, that was an actual game that's more like the first movie yeah. and that kind of thing. This, yeah, this I can imagine is like that. But it just I'm trying. This to This think... looks a bit more. This looks a bit more Eldritch than. I don't know it looks it does definitely have that vibe of alien but it also looks a bit more like demonic yeah a bit for more, sure a bit more um kind of like trippy like so i know the the dude who did the art for like set design for the original alien i want to say it's hr geig or something like that he's mm. got a very uh, unique style and i feel like at the very least, this is a game with his style on it, but it, it could be complete. It's not. It couldn't be that Atomic Heart game. Have you seen that? Oh, Atomic sure. Heart. Yeah, maybe. It sort of has that kind of weird, strange vibe as well. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's Scorn. This is... That's a good name <laughs> for, for what we just saw. Yeah. <laughs> it's very... That was super unique. I'm sure we'll get more info yeah. on that soon. I don't know if you remember that. There was a game sort of in that similar art style. It was all like set in hell that uh, looked really cool and it ended up being awful. So hopefully oh, it doesn't end yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It was like a first person. Yeah. yeah, it looked really... Yeah. It looked so dark. It was like hard to play. Like how gory and like yeah. just depressing. But Yeah. Huh. I'm 
almost like control, but with ships and flying. You've got to wonder whether you know. I mean, you'd imagine all of these games were due to be E3 vertical slices, yeah, sort of for sure. trailers and things. Yeah, because they've been working on this stuff for a while before E3 was cancelled. I'm sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially with that like world premiere stuff. Yep. So essentially on the Microsoft end, they split their first party announcements with their third party during mm. that E3, what they plan to do, and they just split it between like from now and the next event. Yeah. Chorves? Are they just making the shit up as they <laughs> name wise? Cor it says chorus at the bottom. Oh yeah, chorus. It's quite a cool name, but yeah, I don't understand the whole V. I've, I've seen that before, like that. I think it, I don't know if it's like an old version of, or an old way of writing or something, but it, that is confusing. I say call it chores and just lean into it. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like something like in the UK, like a cool nickname for uh, an onion or something. I don't know. Chorves. <laughs> well, like a posh, like English name, like Chorves. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get into the Madden games at all? Do you play those? Um, I used to love, I think it might have been Madden 06 or 07. I had it on my PSP and I really liked yeah. it. But um, I haven't played them since, really. Gotcha. But, um, I think the only sport games I enjoy are like, I like the PES games, the Pro Evolution. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, those were popular. Um, they're pretty good. And I used to like, like FIFA and, and all of that. But, gotcha. Um, yeah, I, I really, I, I've played a bit of the newest Madden. My friend has it. Um, and it seems good. It seems like a, a good game. I like how how the games work and, and everything. But yeah, I've just never been... I used to really enjoy the NFL, but I just haven't... It's, it's quite hard to keep up with it in England yeah. because the coverage is so poor. Um, but yeah, I used to really enjoy it. And when I did, I, I was more inclined to play the Madden games. But um, yeah, I find it hard to play something like this without too much knowledge of the teams now gotcha. so i don't know the players and the, the the rosters and everything but yeah i always thought just like in the back of my mind a cool first person uh you know version of madden or just like a football sim where you're the quarterback playing in first person, like throwing in first person could be dope but i've never really seen yeah, anybody yeah, like that try that be, yeah. even just as like a, a different game mode for madden or something yeah. just like a little addition glad that was short and yeah short <laughs> i'm hoping they kind of learned from or maybe like, or maybe it wasn't <laughs> yeah that's true is she gonna talk about madden more <laughs> oh do you reckon she's put that xbox controller there just for this video <laughs> or do you reckon that's oh, just yeah, a genuine, was, oh, whoops, like, oh that like, oh, oh that was just yeah let's play my xbox <laughs> <laughs> I know they used to uh, bring out like um, athletes, you know, when they would talk about Madden or you know NBA 2K or whatever. They'd bring mm. them on, and they're always a bit more awkward because you know they're just they're they're, they're athletes yeah. and stuff. And I'm yeah. glad we don't have to like bring people on that just are outside of the yeah. world. Like they can just kind of be more natural. Yeah, we we have it over in England. Like um, we've got lots of like we've got loads of like commercials at the moment about obviously staying inside and all this um, and it's always like people on like video calls or whatever yeah and we and there's always like footballers like uh, if you play for our England or something and because they're footballers they just a lot of them are just seem so like brain dead <laughs> they're just <laughs> right <laughs> just the way they speak yep. it's so funny but yeah they always get lumped into stuff oh this doesn't look very nice <laughs> That's like a zombie kind of thing going. You know what? Reminds me a little bit of that We Happy yep, Few. Yep, yep. I don't yeah. know if this is the same devs, though. I forget who. Hard Suit May uh, Killing Floor 2, I want to say. Oh. The Killing Floor games? This doesn't uh, surprise no, it's me. Tri it's Tripwire. It's Tripwire who make them. But I think Hard Suit has something to do with gotcha. it. Gotcha. Uh, Blacklight Retribution, 
Uh, and yeah, they help. They've definitely helped with Killing Floor Two as well. So they're quite a small studio. So this could be. It looks big. more like that. Yeah. Yeah. Got really nice lighting yeah it seems more story focused than something like uh killing floor i mean just like a yeah. bit of progression you know from that team yeah so i'm not i'm not entirely sure what hard suit do with killing floor because i know tripwire are the main devs on killing floor but hard suit always comes up gotcha uh, like as a splash screen night falls it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, it's like a vampire thing. Ah, they. I think they did uh, something to do with Vampire the Ma Masquerade. Oh. I think they had something to do with that as well. Unless this is that. Could be. I get stronger. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd heard something about this. Um, Bloodlines too. Long ago. Although this hasn't. Yeah. This isn't a normal like first-person franchise, though, right? I think it's like another perspective. No, I'm not sure. I don't. I've never played uh, Vampire the Masquerade before. I was that they're like third person. Uh, yeah. yeah, they give me like Bioshock vibes to it almost. 2004, the first one came out. Yeah, I can't tell what it is. Hmm. So this kind of aesthetic is always the kind of game that you'd imagine on Xbox for me. Yeah, the colorful. Like, like... this, the very cartoony, uh, tropical kind of look. Yeah, but I'd say like Sea of Thieves kind of thing, something Rare would make. Ooh. I like it though. I really dig the sort of low poly kind of um, uh, sort of artwork in it. Yep. Hmm. Call the sea. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks like a story based kind of you know first person exploration yeah. thing going on. Yeah. Kind of like a, uh, um, a more sort of um, family friendly, uh, what's his name? A HP Lovecraft. Oh, or sure. <laughs> I'm digging the cyberpunk stuff. It's got to be. looks very detailed in terms of sort of like your mise-en-scene and all that yep really cool attention to detail in there oh it's not interesting this looks really cool so i hope this is house mark's new game oh used right. to make playstation exclusives because they stepped away from because they obviously made like Dead Nation, Alien Nation, yeah. uh, Rezo Gun, um, and then they made like a battle royale game, I think, or were, were were gonna make a battle royale game, and it was thought that they'd stop making twin stick shooters. So I hope that this is them realizing that they should make the twin sticks. This looks awesome. And they're not first party. Are they? Are they uh, free to do like? Third yeah, I, they're not owned by Sony. I think Alien Nation and Dead Nation were Xbox on Xbox. What was that game called? The Don't Agent. Okay. They didn't end with House Market though. I feel like they would like say, "Hey, we got this." You yeah. know, kind of a well-known developer. Yeah, it looked awesome. Yeah, Storm Dive, Storm Divers. Is that that the, sounds familiar? Uh, Battle Royale, the Battle Royale okay, game yeah. that House Mark made. The Agent. It definitely looked house mark esque. Right. But, um, 
I don't think there's anything even on it yet <laughs> on uh, online. Yeah, there's no dev mention, just that title, and that was it. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. It's very moody so far. Something about a mm -hmm. baby. It seems very Japanese. It does, like their kind of interpretation of like the rest of yeah. the world kind of stuff. Yeah. That soundtrack. And the is music as well yep. is very, very Japanese. Yep. The medium. Mm. It's really just a concept they're showing off. The way they're showing what looks almost like hell reminds me of um, there was a movie where they did that with Keanu Reeves uh, where oh he, yeah god what's that it's a um, not John Wick um, it's uh, Constant, Constantine Constantine yeah. yeah yeah where he can go back and forth between like yeah. uh, hell and earth and uh, that's how uh, hell reminds me of in that movie yeah and that could be that kind of thing because if it's called the medium it could be someone who can like communicate with a different like, world or something that's true I didn't actually hear what this was but it looks pretty cool survival horror kind of thing Ooh, reminds me of alan wake i don't think they mentioned it's that that dev but uh no yeah yeah it's but well yeah because there they, they got this remedy isn't it? he made control as well yeah but, so i think this might be a bit soon but oh, was that it <laughs> was that, well, that was it i guess <laughs> no, okay okay let's show they're focusing on smart delivery apparently Oh, okay, they just mentioned that, that this game supports that, I guess. Yeah. Bandai Namco. It's not Bayonetta, it's right? Very, it's like... This is also very Japanese. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. This is cool. Yeah. Reminds me of like the kind of monsters you come up against in Persona. Just like these like horrible, weird creations. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this is a this known property, fun. right? Uh, uh, that character looks familiar, but uh, I'm not sure. I don't know for sure. See, I've, I always find like like I'm playing Persona Five at the moment, but I've got it with uh, the Japanese VO like, voiceover on, just because I find like the way it, English then translates onto something like this, it just sounds just too like melodramatic. Yeah. Whereas when you hear Japanese, it's like, even though you have to read what it's saying, it just sounds like it fits more. Yeah, it's intended for that. Yeah, that whole, exactly, like, yeah. That whole thing. This looks really cool, though. Yeah. And Bandai Namco, you have to wonder whether it's got like a kind of Soulsborne uh, kind of style to it. With that, just, just looking at that boss fight, I'm not sure if it's going to... That sounds different or new. Scarlet Nexus. I'm like, so I think this is a new property. Yeah, that sounds cool. To be honest, I, don't, I haven't heard of uh, pretty much every game that's been shown here. Yeah, I think they're focusing on like new stuff yeah. throughout the gate. It's really cool. Well, World Premiere, obviously, no one's seen it before. Yeah. It's nice to see some new shooters. There's been just hardly any of them. I feel like, yeah, you're right. There's been a sort of drought in when we're used yeah. to, what, 10 years ago, it was just like shooter after shooter, and now there's yeah. we're coming back to that. So that said Avalanche Studios group. Does that mean the Avalanche Studios that made uh, Just Cause? Uh, I didn't catch that. If that's what they said, yeah, you're right. This looks really cool. And you know what? Avalanche did. Um, it was that Rage, uh, 2, Rage was 2, yeah, which borrowed yeah. a lot of the whole like gunplay from Doom. I think I guess they yeah. just were able to use that, and this kind of reminds yeah. me of it. Yeah, this looks really cool. Nice. 
Nice. Second extinction reclaim earth. That looks like fun. Yeah. It's the dino crisis. <laughs> That's the closest wants. we're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yakuza. I've always heard the Yakuza games are super Yakuza's. dope. Yeah, I've never played them, but I keep hearing they're awesome. Yeah. I'll see like random snippets of gameplay and it seems ridiculous and fun. Mm. That's one of those, because I love like Japanese, uh, just like Japan in general. Um, so I've, I've always wanted to try Yakuza, but I just feel like there's so many of them now. Right. That it's just going to be hard to, hard to do that. <laughs> People in the chat are putting Nani. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this means means a lot to people who right. know the series. <laughs> yeah, this is a Excalibur Samurai Sword. <laughs> the force which we was pressing on his phone was insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this the series seems they, they to like follow so realism ridiculous. and then go completely yeah. the other way yeah I, I don't think i've ever seen it go this much <laughs> way though oh yakuza like a dragon i feel like i'd seen an image of this recently of just the, that mm. that logo yeah this is gonna be a launch game Yeah, the footage looks doable on current gen. It doesn't look like, I don't know if we're seeing optimized, but it doesn't look like a huge step over like current yeah. gen stuff. But it looks beautiful. Yeah, I still. don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know whether it's like kind like kind of things that maybe wouldn't, like the kind of things that they'll be like using the new hardware for would be more things like loading times. And That's true. Like ray tracing maybe, or like lighting right. things. Yeah, I'd imagine that even if some of these games are coming to PlayStation, they won't say. They'll just say Windows 10. But I mean, for me, I, I'm just glad to see um, see what they are anyway. Because even if they are exclusive, I can get them on my computer, which is the good thing about Xbox's sort of like um, ideology. Is that you know, they've got the whole play anywhere thing, where yep. no matter what comes out, you can get it on Windows 10. So, yep. which is always cool. Even though the when the Windows Store is just horrific to use but <laughs> I've, I've i've been like barely touched that windows store i think to download like some kind of update and that was about it but like i've heard the same oh, stuff it's awful it's horrible Ooh, nice they're gonna show it off i yeah, like I'm how really excited for this. if you look at his image so he's obviously like zoomed into the background but like we've gone from <laughs> these e3 stages that are like multi-million dollar productions and yeah. lighting and fog to and... a dodgy green screen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just where we are now it's crazy. i wonder if they'll show gameplay i heard that it's going to be limited gameplay like it's not like a full demo but they are going to show gameplay. yeah Do you ever uh, pre-order stuff? Not really, no. I mean, I, I normally get my games digital now, so yeah. I don't really um, sort of see the point in it because it's normally I'd pre-order to um, make sure I definitely get it. But when it's digital, yeah, yeah it's not, not, like not they're going to run really, out yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering if you'd be if you're down to like pre-order this one, but really, yeah, I'm the same boat. Where it's digital, you don't. I mean, you do get extra stuff, but like you can download it the night before, and it's still considered pre-ordering, yeah. and you'll get that extra stuff. Yeah. I'm definitely, I'll definitely be getting this. I can't wait. I'm so happy that it's set around um, Alfred of Wessex. It's just such a cool time period, and it would just be so fun to play. And I've been reading the books as well of the Last King. I just finished uh, the ninth book today, and uh, which is obviously a little bit more detailed and a bit more historically accurate. So I'm really excited just to see sort of how this. Um, 
use as its source material would be really cool. That was it. <laughs> there was little <laughs> sprinkles of stuff that looked like gameplay, like it wasn't just yeah. the cinematics. Unless Valhalla. They're gonna... yeah. Unless they're also going to play it, but I think they're just going to talk about it. People aren't very happy in the uh, in the live chat. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just writing L. Like for loss? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> See, they look really cool. The the Origins and Odyssey, but people love them. I just don't know. I'm yeah. I mean, I'm not too bothered about Egyptian sort of mythology and yeah. I love Greek Greek history and everything so Odyssey is definitely one that I would enjoy but I just don't know I, don't, I just it just doesn't fit anywhere in in what I what I want to play really yeah but that's the cool thing I mean with Assassin's Creed they're fo they're focusing on these different lores throughout history and stuff and mythology so it's like they can find the right one that you know interests yeah. you So I guess when would you theorize they would show off some legit, like a gameplay demo then? I don't know. I mean, it's meant to come out at the end of the year, isn't it? Yeah, it's fall time. So it's got. They're... Yeah, I mean, it's got to be soon. Um, I mean, maybe if, if when are they doing their first party release? That is in July, thing? so maybe then. Yeah, maybe around then. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited for. It. I mean, like, like I said, it, it's this like entire period of time is something I've been like consuming so much of recently so yeah. it's just it's such good timing um, now this is more uh, i guess like fantasy related uh, sort of in that same mm -hmm. era but fantasy stuff but like the witcher yeah. do you ever get into the witcher series um i the problem is that i've, I've tried playing witcher 3 and um i didn't like how it shows you all these side quests on your map because it just like <laughs> made me like feel like i don't know it just I'm a bit of a completionist, so if I see things, I have to go and do them. Yeah. So I'd all, I'd be constantly like choosing my route to my like main quest as like, like trying to get as many side quests along the way. And it just became like too much of like a box ticking game. Um, so I I stopped playing it. And also I've tried playing the first Witcher before, mm. um, but it's very diff. It's a very old indie game, um, so it's quite difficult to play. Uh, I really like it, but it, I, I'd like to play the first two before I play the third one, just because it's so story heavy. And yeah. I know that apparently you don't need to play the first two, but I'm one of those people who like gets really annoyed if I don't understand references to, <laughs> to like other things. So um, I do plan on definitely playing it again, but um, I want to play the first two. And, and my sister loves the books as well, so I might. Um, oh yeah, I hear the books are really good. Start reading the books. Yeah. I yeah, I've nearly finished the uh, the Last Kingdom books now, so maybe after I finish those, I'll, I'll look into that. There you go. I wonder if maybe those first two Witchers would be better served as like a if they remaster them, you know, with like the newer mm -hmm. uh, Witcher Three engine, like just to kind of bring mm -hmm. them back to life, improve some like movement stuff, and just kind of make it so it's it's something yeah, you can jump I, into. I mean, w the the second Witch is meant to be like really good and really playable, um, but yeah, the first one's just very it's it's just hard to play because it's very it's, it's an independent game so it's very like its systems are very complicated in certain ways it looks a bit shoddy and the gameplay is a bit boring like it's just very clicky i see um but it, it does seem like a game and the story seems to be told really well and it is just very um an old indie game really but uh one day i'll try and penetrate it <laughs> yeah yeah i'm so excited for this game this is going to be really cool yeah, it's it's very interesting. I like the way they're taking this. Um, it's a bummer we got maybe I don't know five six seconds of seemingly you know actual gameplay, but um, you have to yeah. like rewatch that actual little reveal. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit worried though because because obviously I love the Last Kingdom and the books, and they're both very like they tried to be as historically accurate as possible. I'm a bit worried that like, I'll play this and and it will like defer so much from from the sure. from what the other sort of things I know. Um, but I'm normally pretty good at like 
separating different things that are set on the same thing. Like the books are obviously quite different to the TV series. I'm quite good at separating those. So, um, but yeah, I'm just really excited because it there's not it, there's not really many things I don't think that are in like an old England. Um, yeah. And I think the story of the Vikings trying to take you know this last kingdom that they haven't taken yet um, is just such a cool sort of story and King Alfred is really cool and it's just such a good piece of historical um, so it's a really great time period to base anything in really did the Vikings uh, actually take over that part or what was the deal because I'm very uh, limited uh, in my knowledge or did the no so um, the Vikings uh, with like Denmark and Norway being hard to like grow anything they they chose to invade sort of Britain and Ireland and everything um which was occupied by the Saxons at the time because it's so good. It's, it was so easy to grow. There was lots of farmland and everything. And they took um, so they, you've got Northumbria, which is up the north of England, just before Scotland. Uh, you had Mercia, which is like the centre. East Anglia, which is the eastern side, and then you got Wessex, which is the southern the southern kingdom. Um, and the Vikings basically took every single kingdom uh, except Wessex. Okay. Um, and then when King Alfred became king. It then was about his his dream was to unite all the kingdoms as one kingdom, which would be then England. Gotcha. Um, so his dream was to drive the Vikings out and take back all the kingdoms and everything, um, which eventually happened. And then um, and then yeah, England united to have. And then that was where we had the first king of England, because uh, before that you'd have king of Wessex, king of oh, Mercia, gotcha. king of. Um, so it was split into these separate kingdoms. Um, but then when the Vikings were driven out. It was all united under one king, um, which is what like the series Last Kingdom follows and the books and everything. So gotcha. it's just a really cool, um, a really cool back and forth like uh, story, which has worked so well in Assassin's Creed as well. Because there's a lot of um, like opportunity to have people playing both sides or the sort of that, that kind of thing as well. And, and it's all very religion based as well. But the whole idea is that King Alfred was a very pious Christian, so he wanted. He did it rather that he wanted to be known for bringing peace. So he wanted all the Danes rather than kill them. He wanted them all to just um, convert to Christianity mm. and live under one God and all this. So it's all it's all just there's just a lot to it, and I think it could be really uh, really cool. Uh, it's sort of ripe for exploiting with uh, sort of fiction. So nice. Yeah, it should be pretty good. I think at this point they're just kind of recapping. Yeah. What we saw here. Yeah, you. It's always hard because it, you're just sort of worried that um, they're gonna like leave like the best for last kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's like and one more thing, and then they show off something crazy yeah. or maybe. Uh, I know you've seen everybody on Twitter sort of making jokes saying like, um, "Is everyone looking forward to the PS5 reveal tomorrow <laughs> and stuff like that?" Because <laughs> it's been so petty between. Well, PlayStation's been so petty about everything, so it seems. Yeah, they follow imagine something that now. New. This is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's voicing cars now. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing this man can't do. No. <laughs> oh, I know it enough. It's nice to see that they're giving these uh, small-time voice actors. Uh... <laughs> right, right. They need, yeah, they need to, they're struggling. They need some work. Um, yeah. <laughs> did you see that uh, I think it's Nolan North and Troy Baker are doing this, like, um, um, like this uh, retro play thing where they sit on the couch and play yeah. games. Yeah, I've seen some of them. They're really, really cool. I think it's really interesting because you sort of don't realize how some of these voice actors can play. Because it's like you had Nolan North who plays Simon in Last of Us. And then when he played through The Last of Us with Troy, Break, Troy uh, Baker, he didn't know so much that happens because he just knew his part. Oh, his sure. Um, so, so it's quite interesting to, to sort of see it from that perspective as well. It's funny to see everyone sort of having to talk at home. Isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very strange, a, and yeah, it's, it's yeah. just kind of the reality of it. But I mean, uh, we watched you know that one intro with the the horrible zoom, you know, background and stuff, and we were used yeah. to like these E three stages. But like, I think people realize that really the more important message is just like, what are the games and what is the mm -hmm. see the trailers? Yeah, exactly, it's yeah. Like, you don't have to spend. And that, that's why I've that's why I've always liked those state of plays from PlayStation, just because they're so to the point. 
they're not long they just show everything they want to show yeah. and And if you can get the same message across, like why would uh, these companies spend the money to do another E3, you know, blowout at an actual mm -hmm. stadium um, mm -hmm. like they've been doing uh, when you can just still get all the message across doing it all online yeah. for way less. Yeah. So even if the world comes back to normal by the time like next June, I doubt that we'll see an E3 or it will be the same at all. Like why mm -hmm. go all out and spend the money when you don't have to? Yeah. I guess for the demos, like people do like going to E3, like as far as like a con on a consumer level, they like going. So maybe that's, you know, a way to, uh, you can still sell tickets because people want to go play games, be there physically. Yeah, yeah. So this is at the medium game. Oh, right. Oh, so they're going to show, so they're showing a little bit more in this section then, which is quite cool. So we didn't see this before, did we? No. Oh, I see. I think they're showing the footage from their previous game. games. Yeah. Blair Witch wasn't that long ago either. That was last year. No. Yeah. I do think we talked about this too. Like the whole survival horror, uh, that kind of genre is right for you know other companies to jump in the other devs so i like to see that they're mm -hmm, you know exploring yeah. that genre more yeah let's i think we can end our little uh, xbox um reveal well i mean I'm, you're right what if they yeah. reveal something at the end i don't know yeah I'm really just kind yeah, of I don't know. <laughs> yeah i can't imagine i don't know I don't think you would you would uh, hide the, a cool like one last thing event or no. like announcement after yeah. all this recap, but yeah, no, definitely not. Yeah, no, I think I think we're safe. Gotcha. Okay, well, we'll end our Xbox coverage there, and and we'll excited to see you know PlayStation's rebuttal or what they have planned if yeah if they announce anything at all. You know, we'll see, but um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're getting close to the future here.